The Challenger Cup 2048 Master Duel online tournament was the biggest, largest, most competitive peak that Master Duel has ever reached online, and I was able to host it live on my channel on twitch.tv forward slash farfa, courtesy and sponsored by Konami, which was an incredible honor, and I've been very happy and proud to have been able to carry this through. Now, the real number turnout, after all was said and done, was around about a thousand players that had entered over the course of this two-day event being locked to Europe meant that it was obviously going to not hit the complete cap, but still massive turnout regardless. And I think this was an absolutely huge success. So I'm happy to do more in the future. And hopefully you guys will be able to tune in and keep up to date over the course of the next few weeks, months with potential more announcements and reveals of the future of the Challenger Cup. But for now, we're going to focus on what happened, the meta, the top cut, and some of the funny moments and incidents that happened on stream as well. Have you ever seen such an onslaught of dragons? Surely our opponent isn't just going to set Albaz. Surely our opponent. <laughs> I never thought you I would ever actually see this. Oh my god. And then has follow-up branded fusion for Lebellion. What just happened? Okay, some of you probably don't understand what happened. Lenatus requires Fallen of Dra uh, of Albaz plus one plus Dragon Monsters. Must be fusion summoned by sending the above cards from any monster zones to the graveyard. So you can literally just set Albaz and then contact fuse the entire field away. Okay, Gamma Negate and Destroy Kit. That's a Mirror Jade effect now. Banishing the Gamma. Battle phase. Really gonna give your opponent the driver? Also get the uh, Branded Banishment. All right, adding a Dragon Maid Hospitality. What? You're playing a heavy engine here. Activates Quick Launch in the Imperm column. Gotta love it. Brings back Tragedy. Fuses with the opponent's Tracer into Despian Karatas. Are you actually going to try play this out? You're going to go Striker Dragon. And add back the Rocket Recharger. Destroying. Hopping. Reviving. This does bring back Boral End. Revive Boral End Dragon. Boral Dragon Effect. Negate the Karatas. Bring back Tracer, Special Summon Wyver Burster. Hospitality, bring back Chamber. Synchro Borosa. There's no way we're coming back from this, is there? Right? We're not actually going to play through this, are we? Special Gram. Spe Normal Sephir, Boral End. I'm. Abs I am shaking. I'm shaking. How are you win? You won that? That is incredible. Oh my god, GG. Oh boy, those are some cards in your hand. You got Masquerade as part of the setup here. Let's see uh, how we can break this. Holy! Dark Ruler no more. Smashers. To banish the normal summon. Chain last stand. Negate. Quick play, trap card, red reboot, themed for the deck, can be activated from the hand, which triggers Starfire here. We can special summon from the deck here for a carrot, I suppose. Oh, wow. Carrot's already been used or something? All right. We should be able to just clear now. Chalice in the same zone as uh, Casper, which is going to get you a search for any ma musket card, I believe. We will be searching a cross domination. The spelling is activated, however. Meaning Desperado to pop the fountain. You really just have everything, my friend. Destroys fountain with the spelling. Rips a change of heart from the hand here. That's okay, because now it's time for Max. Who will be adding... One. Two. Three. Four. Five musket cards from deck to hand. Attacks over the Mascarena, clears the Sprite Blue, and has a locked and loaded six-card hand to deal with our opponent's plays here. Draw phase, we're going to go Desperado, pop the Elf, Starfire triggers to summon Casper, and yeah, we're just going to wait and respond to our opponent's plays here. Top deck Runic Tip, that's going to be last standard. And now we get to activate the effect of Casper on a new chain to special so, uh, to add any runic cards. Uh, runic? <laughs> it's basically runic. Musket card from the deck. Cross domination comes down on the gigantic sprite to negate and reduce the attack to zero. Going into a sprite elf. Elf effect to revive from the graveyard. 
Chain Dancing Needle, banishing three cards in the graveyard, muskets, cracking a full runic sprite combo, and coming out on top with that max for plus five play. So suspicious. Why are you playing this? Ash Blossom comes down on the Hugin, and uh, that's going to be kind of rough, honestly. Set flashing fire pass. Uh, situation. All right, four Vendred cards. Can we OTK through Maxi with Vendred? Preparation or Vendred charge, chain Maxi. Ditching, what does charge do? I think it's E-Telly, right? It's been a while since I read this card. Yep, special summons Revenants from the deck here. Prep adds Origin and Revendred Slayer. I am Revendred. Ravenous Revendred summons a Hound Horde from the deck, it looks like. And summons out the Slayer here. I think it's got like two bonus effects. It like banishes and it um, pops back crow. But we're going to Flashing Fire destroy the Slayer. I think you can protect this, correct? Doesn't Origin have battle protection? Nope. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it just doesn't have any protection. Okay. Uh, draws a card. Sends. Evolution. Bring back Scavenger. Dump Executor. We got the Scavenger online. This is the boss monster in the lore, I think. Origin. Reviving. Back in Executor. Can we do a little bit more damage? 58. Hound Horde effect. Pitch. Revive. Link Summon. Savior. Are we going to find 8,000? Surely not. Add Origin. Scavenger. Revive. Origin. Slayer. Banish. Bring back. Game? Through Maxi? How? <laughs> Vendred! How? <laughs> That's crazy! This is not the end board, but we'll accept. All right, here we go. This is why we're watching this deck. This is why we're watching this replay. What are we playing? Pantheism of the Monarchs. Banishing, revealing, the Monarchs erupt. The Monarchs erupt. The Monarchs erupt. Activating Dragonic Diagram. Activating Disciples, destroying Disciples, adding a copy of Heritage. Phoenix pops a back row, hits a bird call, completely dead here. Heritage effect to Tribute Summon. Activates the effect of the Avion in response to prevent the extra normal summon here. Heritage will be activating to destroy the last card. Oh, no, we're not actually. We're going to go Stormforth Erebus me again, Margaret. It's tributing over F-Zero. Ignis attacks over the Simorg. Main phase two set. Draw with Demise. Activate the Disciples. We're going to recycle to draw three. Nope, we're going to tribute summon over and activate Domain of the True Monarchs for the extra boost here. I don't know if that's worth sacrificing for Domain for. We'll see. Standby phase. The Monarchs erupt. We holding this for next game? Tribute summon! Avion! Battle phase! Well, you don't have any follow-up either because you decided to sacrifice your diagram. Ah, it's a good thing we kept domain, I suppose. Wow. This was a crossover no one asked for. Monarchs and True Draco. Really? No one asked for this. <laughs> Return in the end of main phase, bringing back your- Maxi getting value! Value town! Holy! Maxi plus one! Here we go! Draco giving you max E draws? Who would have seen that coming? No one could have expected that. It's actually the worst max E ever because you give your opponent a target to search the fighter with the majesty off of the max E. Like, actually just minus two max E. How? 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 The, f the world's first neg max E. <laughs> We're gonna go Ogre Dancer and search for a copy of Zayaman. Normal summon Zayaman. Effect. Our opponent is gonna Ash Blossom. A little bit baited there. I feel like if your opponent's on some punk cards, you just hold for Foxy Chun. Keras effect, banishing for four. Only two, okay. Goes for the DDL. Makes Naturia Beast. And pass, okay. It's just, <laughs> all right, I, okay, okay. It's, it's, a, it's a Nat Beast deck. I respect it. It's a Runic Sprite meta. I honestly respect it. To be fair, how are you outing this? Naturia Beast negate triple talents. <laughs> Chain starter. <laughs> Naturia Beast, negate. <laughs> Wait, this thing isn't once per turn? Wait, what? Chain Slumber, negate. Wait, it's not even thrice per turn? How? N Chain Runic Tip, negate. Wait, it's not even four times per turn? <laughs>
<laughs> that was like the least impressive field, but it negates every runic card. GG. <laughs> Set four, draw, banish Archfiend. Are you trolling? Oh wait, hang on, doesn't this new card summon from banish? Oh my God, it does. <laughs> Infernity playing Call by the Grave, why? Oh, suppression, wait, it's a trap card turn one. You can activate this card the turn it was set if you have no cards in your hand. <laughs> How? How breaking the game? Infernity breaking the game. All right. Creepy little punk, special summon Archfiend. Archfiend effects, search for lawn chair. You know where this is going. Overlay, sorry, link summon into Mascarena. Lawn chair, special summon back, Infernity Archfiend and Necromancer. Archfiend effect, time for lawn chair. Linking for four into access to integrate. Oh, you don't even, to be fair, you don't even need to make it like complicated because you're going second. That's the, uh, that's the thing, I suppose. All right, Infernity Archfiend and Necromancer being revived for the next time here. Archfiend searching for Patriarch. Patriarch special summon, overlaying into Raider's Knight. Raider's Knight effect, ranking itself up into Arc Rebellion Exceed, right? How do you have space for this? Archfiend effect, bring back, uh, sorry, Necromancer, bring back Archfiend, search it for Infernity Barrier. Arc Rebellion, negate all bosses on the field. 10,500! <laughs> <laughs> Short and sweet, huh? Infernity just pop it off, baby. We've got live twins who are being hit with a maxi. Banish draw special red pass. Okay, that's a lot of cards we gave our opponent here. Into lava golem, into lightning storm. Is this XE festival? What? <laughs> battle Vader. <laughs> All right, just battle Vader chilling. We're going to do a link rebo. Buzzsaw Shark! Buzzsaw Shark getting max seed here. Okay, I think you're gonna have to crash this battle fader, right? That's how Cook Cook works. Why is Cook such a popular deck? Like, sorry, when did this become like the cool deck of Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh my god, he's actually summoning Cook in attack mode. Wait, Cook has an effect? Detached material destroys many other cards as you control as possible. I think this is still immune to battle. Okay, question. How do you out this in Sprite? Oh, Goddess? Maybe? Maybe they play Goddess? We'll find out. We're on turn three of countdown here. That's a lot of negates you're putting on the field. Would be a shame if you could actually do something about the cook with them. Battle phase, deal damage. Next turn, we just put him to defense modes. But Pat Pat, I don't mean to uh, shock, and aware, shock and awe you here, but you will just be Lava Golem. Who could have seen this coming? That's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> you shouldn't Lava Golem, honestly. Just, I want to see like the final countdown animation. I feel like there is a final countdown animation. What was that? Turn six? Draw? Pass? Looks like uh, Pat Pat does not play Underworld Goddess, so... Does Live Twin Sprite have any piercing damage? Mannequin Cat. Doesn't out this, does it? Special to your opponent's side of the field. <gasps> oh! They found it! Mannequin Cat gives your opponent a card. And now, this is, uh, this is affected. While you control no other cards, this card is unaffected. Oh my god. Oh my god, we found it out. Here's the problem. We have to nav navigate through, like... Cook has a quick effect to destroy. Oh yeah, it's quick effect. It's not on summon. Detach to destroy Maxi. Wait, but then does this keep the influence? Chain Empire! <laughs> the out! There's a few things to navigate here. Clearly we know that they're on battle fader. So we have to try and clear all of this. Put up 4700 damage while playing through battle fader. Let's see uh, how they do it. Sprite carrot attacks over the crooked cook. Mannequin Cat, attacking over Maxi. Attack directly with Trouble Sunny for game here, final blow. Oh no, it doesn't even have a battle fader. But even if we did, the Sprite Red was on the field. Wow, that's so funny. I didn't realize it, apparently it was that easy to uh, out a Crooked Cook. Dino DNA, as promised, versus Branded. Adds Baby Sarasaurus. Oh boy, this is looking like a full combo here. I feel like we're missing another four body. I, that, I, I'm pretty sure something's missing. You should have a Laggy or a Dolka, in my opinion. Here's Branded Fusion. I don't know if... I I think I would negate that. Chainlink 2 Tragedy to block the uh, Labellion here. And now you're in a bit of a pickle. And now this summons Mirror Jade. Okay, admittedly, I guess we don't really do... Hello? Conductor? 
Now we activate the effect of Tyranno, looking the Albas in the Mirror Jade, banishing Tyranno, negates the Albas. <laughs> I like that the animation flips the card up and shows it's negated. That's actually really funny. Interesting turn of events here. Didn't destroy the baby either. Miscellaneous Saurus effect. Chains Maxi. E. Do you want to negate with Boral Lord? Nah. Alright, surely we can attack for game here, right? I mean, it's Dino. Your boss monster literally says, attack. You'll be fine, right? Link into Pentastag? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maxi challenge enforced, by the way. Just, just in case you weren't aware, but Maxi is being played right now. Branded in red. That's an easy negate. Evil Zoralagia negating Branded in red. All right. No uh, special summoning on your turn here. Brings back overlays into Dugares. We know what's happening now. Dugares, customer support, option three. <laughs> Double the attack of Tyrano. <laughs> 7,000 damage. <laughs> Just one shot. <laughs> Let's see what Spiral does with Magician Souls. This should actually be kind of interesting. And links away into Orida. Whoa, okay. Never seen this before. Is this standard in Spiral? I swear the combos have been like different depending on which game you've played. There is Spiral TCG. I don't think ever did this. This is, this is cooking. This, my friend, is cooking. We're dumping a Jet Synchron. Discard Rescue. Holy, what are we going with this? Herald? Cupid Pitch? Bruh, are we gonna make a Colossus as well? What is he cooking? Savage Dragon. This is like Synchro Spiral. It's usually a Link deck. Do you guys remember this deck used to make like Trigate Wizard and stuff like that? Well, we're doing Synchro plays. Are we actually? We are actually searching Corridor. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. And Baron the Floor. This is an unethical end board. Break my field. Baron, Savage, Lossus, three material apple, and a spiral sleeper. And Maxi in hand, by the way. How do you break this? You need to just be playing like unfair cards. You need like Dark Ruler's bullet mode or something to fight this off. It's crazy. <laughs> Last resort recycles in the end phase. Oh, you took 2000 from where Arfell? Okay, time on the round. Time on the ground. Uh, Maxi in the standby. And okay. <laughs> Well, Garda woke up at 9 a.m. to play the Master Duel tournament and then just got Spyro comboed for like 15 minutes and then went back to bed. <laughs> okay, it looks like a pretty good start from Live Twin Sprite. You've got the setup of Cross Out, Imperm, Smashers, Special Summon for a Pop, Negate and Destroy with Red, and a Revival follow up with Elf. It's gonna be a hard nut to crack here, but this is a pretty good hand, honestly. Here we go, Quick Launch, activate the effect here, chain the effect of Sprite Elf. That's a very, very rough time to use Elf, my friend. We're gonna go Cyphering Gamma. We play Cross out as a target? Wait, what? Oh, you don't! You thought you did! <laughs> this is the oh no, it doesn't have Gamma. Did you forget what's in your deck? Striker Dragon activating Royal Rare. Search as a copy of Boot Sector Launch. Wow, this Dragon Link hand is just everything. This is actually kind of crazy. I'm gonna discard Chaos Space here. Add Remus. Okay. Doesn't send Absoluter. Remus adds another copy of Dargon Ravine. Synchro's away into Magic Dragon. Finally going to Synchro 4, the big boss monster of the deck. That's That will be met with an infinite impermanence. That's crazy. All right, we're gonna have to discard the talents. Just not coming up this game. Legatus is added. Are you playing actual Dragoonity? Special summons Remus. Synchros into Gadir. Special's the Black Dragon. Chaos Space, draw a card. Returns Magic Ruler, that's pretty cool. Adds Zephyros, which is then discarded, which then is bounced. Special summon to the field by re returning the Dragon Ravine. Reactivating Dragon Ravine. Pitching Keeper of the Shrine, sends Absoruter. Absoruter effect, adds Rocket Synchron. Links away into Pisty, and Black Dragon searches White Dragon, triggers the effect of the Romulus, which I believe special summons from the hand. Specials the Rocket Synchron, and into Triple Burst we go to create a zone for Pisty, who revives Tracer. Tracer effect pops the Ravine, special summons Rocket Recharger. Synchros for another Magic Dragon, that is once per turn, I hope, right? Okay. Hot Red, Archfiend is summoned, revives back the Magic Ruler. Boral End Dragon! Activates the effect of Boral End Dragon. Synchro uh, brings back the Tracer by negating the red on the field and makes a Boral Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon equips Triple Burst. Sets Call by the Grave. Let's go. GG. A uh, Pixies for turn. Special summons. Goes into Centauri. Okay, this is kind of scary, actually. Attacks into the Centauri. Gets negated on Declaration of Attack here. Uh, destroys the monster by battle, technically. So the Centauri can't protect itself as it's negated, which just triggers... The, uh, Hot Red to summon out the Tracer. 
Oh my, is this a, how much damage is that? How much damage is that? 73 access codes, linking away Boral and Dragon. <laughs> wow, that would have been a hard punish by infinite impermanence. Oh my god. All right, Metal Fool's going to start up here with uh, three Metal Fools and a Balbaboon. Uh, I feel like this should be a little bit more. I guess you went for a monster heavy play here, uh, but your opponent does not have a lot, of, a lot of monsters, I guess. It's just a bunch of spells here. It's gonna be actually really rough here. <laughs> Vortex Dragon Negate Smasher, which is just gonna be negated by Freezing Curses. I think there is probably a way to combo with Metaphors that makes it so you don't lose so heavily to like spells. Because if this was a monster deck, you would probably just win this. No doubt, no doubt. Carrot is added here. Special summoning with Runic Destruction into Hugin. And we should be able to go for a Alkahest play if we want. Is what I would definitely do here. Fountain versus Sprite. Okay, definitely you got an Alkahest here. Okay, does not summon Alkahest. I, I guess you just don't have the materials for Alkahest because you need like a Metal Foes and you just don't have that. Huh. Banishing Mind Hacker for the rest of this turn. No battle phase. Can we clap back though? Okay, we got some Metal Foes here. Ara Metal Foes Fusion. Kane's Elf. Fuses into Mithrilium. And Iperia Resolves drawing a Curses. Mithrilium targets the revive, or return rather, is hit with a Sprite Elf. Chains the full metal fusion to dodge the freezing curse. Depleting your hand here though. Will we be able to scale up as well? Here's Ori Hulk, and Mithrilium returns, bounces away that. Mithrilium effect floats into a pendulum, I believe. Your opponent is going to draw three cards with Fountain, however. Ooh, damn. It's not ideal. Draws three, <laughs> gets a maxi. Special summons Volflame. And just going battle phase? What is that? Double piercing. Don't think that's game though. Slumber. Can't be destroyed by battle card effect. But 46 damage. Oh! What? All of your metal foes pierce! <laughs> I thought it was just Ori Hulk! You what? That's <laughs> crazy! All Metal Foes Pierce. I thought it was just Hulk. My god, wow. Okay, uh, Liberal Mancer. Uh, this looks like maybe full combo? Question mark? Doesn't Ash Iperia. Wow, coward. Gonna get end on Mascarena with a red, a carrot, and runic flashing fire. It's gonna be kind of hard here, actually, to play through this. Let's see what the opponent can do. Preparation of rights is activated. Chaining Call by the Grave to negate the effect of... Well, to negate the target of Elf here. Going to tribute away the red just to protect the elf revive on an Iperia. That does not seem value. That doesn't seem worth it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd rather have negated the prep, honestly. <laughs> well, this is not looking too good. This is two card combo here. We're gonna go fire, reveal, special summon, hit with maxi, but we've got Ash Balsam in response. So we should be able to just do something. However, Mascarena is uh, live as well as flashing fire. It's gonna be really hard to play through this. Let's see what he's got though. Searches a copy of Doom Broker. Field spell effects. Ritual summons out by tributing the Ben 10, a copy of the Doom Broker. Ben 10 effect. We'll add Doom Broker is immediately popped on summon to not be able to search any of the Liberal Mancer trap cards, I think. Searches Diviner. Normal summon Diviner effect to add a to send the Herald of Arclight. Gets an illusion of chaos. And now synchros into Baron the Floor. Does not go for Mascarena. Okay, that's not ideal. Illusion of Chaos returns itself. Malig Magician Souls dumps. And that's gonna be draw two here. Ends the field spell and the trap card. Sees two more cards. That's a talent! Huge pickup here. Uses the effect of talents to steal. Let's the Mascarena resolve. Wow, okay. Don't know about that. Into Dark the Dark Charmer. Range. Steals the Dark anyway. Links into a Unicorn. Unicorn effect? Not gonna use the Unicorn effect. Just going to summon it. Attack over. Fire on the floor punch directly. And Simplified Game State for Runix. Top deck something good here could be really valuable. When the Golem is Lava, that's huge. Special's a level two here, gets Hugin. And now we just get to normal summon. Oh no, we can't normal summon. Oh, wait, no, hang on. This is actually really bad. We can't do anything. Uh-oh. That's a Liberal Mancer agent. Golem self-inflicted 1,000 damage. Diviner of the Herald sends a Arclight. Searches for a White Knight of Dogmatica. 
Agent reveals the White Knight to special summon itself, adds back Fire, and now Fire reveals the White Knight to special summon himself, and we're just popping off now. Oh my god, we just- Oh, wow. Clapping back with the ritual sauce here. E. Wait, what? <laughs> Cross Crusader tributes adds Shadow Mist. Pitches it for Faris. Shadow Mist effect searching for something. Honest Neos, maybe. Faris will be setting up increase. And Shadow Mist does add Angel. Okay. DP destroys itself in Cross Crusader to revive. Triggering the Dark Angel. Which then gives it to the opponent. And sets up a mass change and passes. All spell cards are negated now. And you just switched off your opponent Lightning Storm. Honestly, this is the smartest hero player. People think it's that YouTube guy who's the smartest hero player? Absolutely not. It's HVCG from the Farfa Challenger Cup 2048 Challenger mode on the 25th of February 2023. This guy is crazy smart. All right, we're going to pop the Stratos here. DPE returns. Increase will be triggering. Special summoning itself. And Vion from the deck. Sending Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist effects. Searching for Liquid Soldier. Mass change on resolution. Dark Law. And your opponent just incapable of playing the game without spell cards. DPE returns back to the field here. Everything goes into attack mode. Vion banishing to add a copy of Polymerization from the deck to the hand here. Normal summon Liquid Soldier. Reviving back Shadow Mist. Activating the effect to search for Mass Change Royal Rare. Battle phase. Vion attack over Angel. Shadow Mist attack directly. DPE attack for 25. Attacks for 24. Mass Change in the battle phase. Dark Law for game. With the Dark Angel Law. So, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you had an amazing time with this tournament. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord channel as well to try and keep up to date with any potential future announcements that we'll hopefully have soon in the future with regards to the future of the Challenger Cup. Special Junk Forward, Gallus. Keck. Here we go! Dante with a normal summon tour guide. Milling three graph effects, special summon seer. Link into Mascarena. <coughs> Chain link one seer target Dante. Chain. Oh my god. <laughs>